Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm here to do my review of episode 2 of season 9 of Two and a Half Men. And I gotta say that this episode was definitely a lot more enjoyable than the previous one. So this episode starts off where uh, basically Walden is trying to convince Berta, the housekeeper, to continue working for him, you know, because she used to work in that house as a... Um, made for Charlie or whatever and a housekeeper and you know she's like thinking in her head all she's thinking about is how you know cute she thinks he is and you know she can't stop googling over him or whatever she's like uh, you know all google eyed over him and of course she agrees yeah she's gonna stay on board um Alan moves in with his mother he finally moves out you know he says goodbye or whatever and, you know it's a bit sad to see him move out at the moment you feel that way um you know definitely one of the moments that uh, I, I didn't really like in the episode because it kind of was a little downtime. But I got to say overall, this episode was a lot more enjoyable. It had a lot more of that two and a half men feel to it. Um, when Alan leaves, he's, he's telling uh, Walden, um, if I forget anything or whatever, you know, feel free to throw it out or keep it or whatever. And uh, as when he leaves and locks the door and Walden goes upstairs, uh, then Alan's son, Jake, comes out of the room. He says, Dad, Dad. Oh, well, and walks back. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, definitely gave a little bit of humor to it or whatever. Uh, again, disappointed. There wasn't much Jake in this episode at all outside of that moment. And um, and a flashback in the beginning from the, you know, a uh, cut from the previous episode showing what happened. So that was a big disappointment for me. I wanted more Jake to see again. I wanted, you know, his take on, you know, his uncle being dead and, you know, how, what's his thoughts. I really still want to hear that, you know, a serious one too, not just a, you know, well, he was this or he was that, you know, I want to hear his legitimate thoughts on, you know, his uncle being dead, you know, Charlie um, is gone or whatever. Um, and then the episode, basically, Walden wants Bridget back, you know, his ex-wife. He uh, takes Alan for this joyride. Alan has to leave his house. Well, he doesn't have to leave his mother's house, but, um, you know, his mother is doing some crazy things in there I don't want to really talk about. Um, so he's basically like, you know, Walden comes to deliver some stuff to him that he left behind. He's like, oh, you know, um, you want to come hang out with me for a little bit? Uh, Alan agrees. And, you know, they go off in this drive, and it was pretty funny. It kind of reminded me sort of of a Charlie moment. Definitely Ashton is starting little by little to um, give a decent feel for, you know, the boy that Charlie left. Nothing close, to be honest. Nothing can really fill the boy that Charlie left behind. However, I definitely say that Ashton's performance in this episode was a thousand times better than the previous episode. I'm starting to feel the character. I'm getting to know him a little bit more. I understand him. Um, you've seen different sides of him, not just that blithering idiot that we saw in episode one. Uh, and, you know, when he, when he starts interacting with Bridget, that's when you really start to see the character that he's not just, you know, one-dimensional. You know, he starts um, saying, you know, I can change, you know, let's get back together. They sneak over very funny moments on there when they sneak into her house and get caught. Uh, you know, we, we see different sides to this character, and I really enjoyed it. Um, towards the end of the episode, Alan basically weasels his way back in by uh, helping Walden on a tight spot when Bridget comes and Walden's with a girl there in a towel or whatever. Um, skipping over, there was some very horrible moment I did not like with uh, Alan and Walden. I'm ugh, just thinking about it. Very horrible moment. Definitely that's the worst moment of the episode. Um, beach chair and a towel. That's all I'm going to say. Very, very, not for me, very nasty in my opinion. But, you know, girls like that, whatever. That's them. Um, overall, very enjoyable episode. Definitely a thousand million times better than um, the previous episode. I just got so much of a better feel for this Walden Schmidt character. Um, you know, he's just a lot more... You see more sides to him. You see he's not just a moron. He, he actually has thoughts and, you know, he has things to say. And we see his um, whole thing with Bridget. I think the Bridget character really brought out more of Walden. You get to see, um, you know more of his character, and, you know, Alan being able to move back in, he weaves his way, he's like, um, you know, he says a funny thing that we all know, he's like, uh, I'm never one to overstay my welcome, because, uh, Walden throws off, you know, you help me out if you want, you could uh, stay here, or whatever, and yeah, I, I just think that the episode is very enjoyable, uh, big step up from the previous episode, I gotta stress that, because if you hated the previous episode, this episode was much, much better, it just had so much more of a comedy and two and a half men feel than the previous one, and it was possibly due to, as well, the previous one had the funeral, and it was very, uh, somber and everything, feeling like, damn, Charlie's gone, you know, but with this episode, it was really enjoyable, I give it two thumbs up, to be honest with you, and I'm really hoping that the Walden character keeps on improving, and, you know, we get a, a decent new character that'll, you know, bring back some of the more 
mold of the two and a half men feel that we used to get from it, the comedy, the laughters. Um, for the next episode, I really want to see some Jake in there, see, um, you know, some jokes with him and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Berta's hilarious, one of my favorite characters, always funny, always, you know, they always have the servant or the butler or something be the funny character, like, you know, in a Fresh Prince, you have Jeffrey and all that, and uh, she definitely plays the part very well, top-notch performance from her, top-notch form, uh, performance from Alan, uh, everything was really solid in this episode, two thumbs up, let me know what you thought of the episode, did you think that the Walden character got much better from the previous episode, did you like his character, do you think he's on his way to being a Decent, not replacement for Charlie, but just a replacement of the void that was kind of left behind from, um, you know, Charlie's performance on Two and a Half Men. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'm Tim. Thanks for watching my review. Hope you like. Thumbs up if you still a Two and a Half Men fan, regardless of what. You know, we're going through thick and thin, and um, we're sticking to it. But have an awesome day, people.